that's what I'm gonna start. The first step I'm going to do is I'm going to unwind a few cords and I'm gonna snip and then I will remove thread spool number three. And I'm gonna add a new color. I'm gonna add this green. And so what I always do is I like to take and tie off the gold ends to the green end. And I kind of just make a little small knot. And I just make a knot by looping the two threads, one through the other. The old thread goes through the new thread, like so. And I make a little knot, and then I make another little knot. Old thread, which was the gold, brass color. Through the new color choice, which is my light green. And again, I make a tight knot. And then I find number three, which is right here, and I pull. And I simply just pull. This keeps you from having to go through the entire process. Now, it came loose, so that's not ideal. But because it came loose, I'm going to pull it through. And then I'm going to, never fear, I'm going to go under. And I'm going to follow the lines for number three. I'm going to go around. And I'm going to go ahead and pull out that brass color thread and just cast it aside. On top of the six needle, it has a thread guide. And I follow that. And I loop it around. And then I follow it. And I go under that. Down and around. And I go through that hole. And I pull the thread down. And then I find the hole for number three and I stick my thread through. And again, I make sure it's lined up and I pull. And now I go over here and I mash this button and I want needle number three. So I mash number three and then I send for my needle. I use my tool and I carefully pull down some thread and wrap the thread under it has to go into three pieces, and then I loop it around, number three, and it cuts. It has a self-cutter. I send that back, and it is threaded. 